Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to make a video about Contractor Showdown. It's something we haven't really talked about recently because there's been no PSVR 2 news about it and that remains true right now. However, the developers of Contractor Showdown have put out this article, which I'll pop up on the screen now. I don't know why I didn't have this ready. The Situation Report, Contractors and Contractor Showdown. So they want to give you updates on both of their main games. Of course, Contractor Showdown is a uh, based on Contractors, which is a different uh, type of game, Showdown being Battle Royale. Uh, but anyway, we're going to focus on the Showdown part, because that's the one they've hinted at is on their to-do list to come to PSVR 2. It's the, but what I want to get to is down here. We're thrilled to announce that a major update is scheduled in November. Uh, updates, Transformation. The next chapter, I don't know if Transformation is supposed to be the name of the next season or something, I don't know. We know it's been quiet lately, we owe you an explanation. The recent trends in player activity prompted us to pause and rethink the future direction for Contractors Showdown. Now, they're speaking very diplomatically here, you know, they gotta be careful with what their words are saying, but... If you read into this, what it basically means is, uh, uh oh, that's what that means, is uh oh. Uh, Contractor Showdown player activity trends are obviously not in a good place right now. And I can tell you that they aren't because I've played the game myself and uh, there's basically, a, you know, this, there's the Battle Royale mode and then there's the Reborn mode that allows you to respawn for a certain amount of time. And you can pretty much, you can get matches in both of them, but you'll get them much faster in Reborn. And if you do the traditional, you know, duos, trios, whatever it is, normal Battle Royale, you could be waiting a long time to get a match. Which is obviously not ideal, especially when this is, from what I can tell, the best Battle Royale virtual reality game, and it's struggling. So this is a cause for concern. So here then they go through this list of stuff, and I'm not going to go into this because, you know, obviously nothing is confirmed for PSVR 2 yet. That's not the important thing for us, but basically they're showing, oh, look, this is coming. These new features, these new weapons, this new areas of the map, blah, 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 blah. It looks very cool, but what's interesting for us is this part here with the recent player trends. So what does this mean for PSVR 2? It's difficult to say. I think it could be two things and both of them are on the polar opposite of each other. If you're in their position right now, you're worried about player activity, obviously you're going to try and improve the game as the best you can on the platforms it's already on, which is PC and on Quest. But what about PS VR 2? If you're in that developer's position right now, are you looking to get it onto PS Viewer 2 so that you can try and boost those player accounts? A lot of you will think that. But you have to look at it the other side of things, where it's like, hold, hold on. Do we really want to invest in another platform, which is probably like the lowest player base between PC, Quest, PS Viewer 2, it's the lowest. But then they can look at something like Max Mustard, where apparently it's sold best on PS Viewer 2, even compared to Quest. So there'll be a little bit of temptation there. However, I think Max Mustard was probably uh, an outlier. That doesn't happen too much. Mostly a Quest version of a game will vastly outsell the PSVR 2 version. And even though that's happening, even though the Quest version, or sorry, the, there is a Quest version of Contractors, they're still tr struggling for players. So will a PSVR 2 port really help them? This is why I'm saying it could go either way. I mean, on the one hand, maybe they desperately need this game to get to PSVR 2. And I think a game like this may be more appreciated on PSVR 2 by PSVR 2 gamers. I don't want to be disrespecting Quest gamers, not that I care too much, but I think there's a lot of casuals over on the Quest end of things, whereas on PSVR 2, it's probably more the hardcore, dedicated Sony fans are buying that headset. And maybe this type of game would align with them better, but I mean, I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel. It's not actually hard evidence. Maybe if you look at a game like Pavlov Shack, which is uh, kind of like the Quest version of Pavlov, if you've noticed, the developers of that game, Bankrupt, seem to be putting all their focus on updating the Quest version. They get all the uh, cosmetics and, you know, they seem to get things much more frequently than we do, which indicates to me that the Quest version of Pavlov, or Pavlov Shack, is vastly outperforming the other versions, you know, which makes sense. Why would they cater to the main version when hardly anyone's playing it, you know? And that's a first person shooter as well. So maybe Caveman Studios will be looking at that and they'll be like, ooh, it could be the same situation there. They'll want to avoid the sunken cost fallacy where basically maybe they want to pull out where they're ahead. Maybe they want to see what this update does, season two. You know, maybe if that boosts things on the PC and Quest end, maybe then they'd be like, okay, now's the time to get the 
PSVR 2 people in, or, which is very possible, look at Zenith. Remember that MMO Zenith, they kinda, things were going bad for them. They said, okay, we're gonna try and save it with one big update. They put out the big updates, and at the end of the day, nothing really changed, and that studio got shut down. And the game is pretty much dead, I think. So I think this is, I mean, I'm, I would probably lean towards the latter. I think this update needs to do a lot for this game, for us PSVR 2 owners to have a chance, or a better chance, I should say, of getting it. I hope they're thinking, you know, let's get this on PSVR 2 and it'll help the numbers. It's gonna depend, like, I don't know how much it'll cost them to port this game to PSVR 2. We know it's not easy. Uh, for developers to get their game on PS4 too. They have to jump through so many hoops for Sony. Look at Phasmophobia, how long that game took uh, to get to PS4 too. Like, frame rates have to be a certain way, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So that could be a lot of work. For this small studio who are juggling two games simultaneously on two other platforms as it is. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today, about Contractor Showdown. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think they will gamble on a PS4 2 version or do you think now the PSVR 2 version is maybe further away than it ever has been with learning this news that the PC and Quest version are like not doing so good right now or does it all hinge on this season 2 updates that may or may not save the game let me know in the comments below I'm about to end this video but before I do let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos you can check him out Decepticon.com link in the description and also let me thank all my channel members whose names are on screen as I speak they are the following. Moz, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Plank71, Esports Commentator for Hire, No One Knows, Dead Eye Dan, Mr777, Pete Hawkins, the Governor of Vior, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Aced, Geza, Dante Bruce, Prophecy777, Jason Ewan, Elephant Trap, Captain Pixis, Mark Smith, Minus, It's Free Real Estate, Brannon Vior, Fills You Up, and Mark. Thank you very much for that support, lads. It's greatly appreciated. It's keeping me alive. It's putting food on the tables. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and moist.